What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick one today as to what is coming and what's going to be new on Monday. So obviously, we are probably going to be getting a fairly a bigger than normal week, I suppose, with the 11th now being the date that there is going to be the turnover and the new content is going to be happening. So for anyone that missed it, obviously now we will have our badges in here. Uh, we have in this information that you now go in, you will now be able to get your badges in here. And all you have to do is turn them on if you want to attach that badge. So if you have reached Division 1 or whatever your grade is that you've reached on this, you will have your badge slots that you can pop in there and pop in anywhere that you want. It doesn't really make a difference. But you will be able to get those badges. You have those badges now. So just a reminder of that as well. And that's going to follow on to eFootball 2025. You would imagine that they'll even expand, expand that, I would say. And that's obviously going to be as well tied to the match pass for the next big update which seems to be the 11th of the 7th so we will be back streaming obviously monday as well tomorrow and we will have a fairly big uh breakdown of everything obviously i've been away for a couple of days uh getting married so that's where i've been in case you guys didn't know so sh you shout out to everybody with your well wishes and stuff um but we will be getting into that tomorrow but yeah the 11th of the 7th obviously is going to be the next big date i think for the kind of like content overhaul um, because there's a lot of stuff changing obviously the king of the continent campaign is still ongoing there the objectives are still ongoing there and nothing really is going to change on monday mostly monday is now due to the uh you know the actual you know the, the the events which is just rinse and repeat and of course the contracts which are the cards and the packs right so these special players obviously we know that these are going to end on the thursday as normal and then you have the showtime that are going to be ending on the monday so we know that we're going to be getting new showtime and of course these are all going to be ending within the thursday as well so it seems that all of these and this is going to be the big kind of update that it seems to be i would say that they're going to be kind of getting rid of all you know last season so like this stuff is still last season and they'll be kind of like bringing this into the new season stuff the euros will be pretty much coming to the end as well i think the final is on the 18th of july if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong let me know i think i'm wrong i think i'm right but yeah this showtime pack it's going to be your last chance to get that and we do know what we are going to be getting it is going to be this spanish league showtime these have been added now we know that yamal was going to be coming to um the game I obviously did a video on it as well. We talked about Valverde, we talked about Yamal, we talked about Bellingham, Blitz Curler, or we talked about not just Blitz Curler, but we talked about guys that would have Showtime skills. And I did feel that when they were going to be bringing a lot of these cards out and that they were going to be bringing a lot of these kind of cards that people would be expecting and would be willing to spend on. This is obviously from Buddy J via Twitter. It's not the official image and they are, you know, predicted ratings, but the cards are up in the DB, obviously. Um, so I do feel as if it is going to be a case of whether or not these cards come and they're, you know, they are going to come, obviously, but... I think when you are going to be releasing cars like Yamal and, and players like that, they need to be good. You know what I mean? They also are going to be coming with this Spanish uh, season um, or end of season pack as well, right? So I do feel as if these are going to be kind of similar to the English League Showtime ones that we got. And then we had obviously the English League selection player of the seasons. Um, so I think they'll probably do that. And then obviously they'll, you know, they know that these are going to be popular cards, right? We'll get into what needs to happen for eFootball 2025. And in my opinion, they do need to switch up this a lot and give us something to be able to grind for. Make us be able to grind for these cards. But yeah, that is what's going to be new on Monday. And everything else, obviously, that'll be your last chance to get these by uh, tomorrow. And everything else, everything else seems to be tied towards around that 11th date. And then obviously 52 days with these are going to be the next big update so everything here is gone now um the older managers alonzo and guardiola they're all gone obviously and what's left is just these national team packs i don't think they'll carry these national team packs into eFootball 2025 i think that's when we'll probably see that go so if you fast forward on two months from now is around maybe like the last week of august i would say is when we will probably have these ending i mean 50 days time from now is like the last week in august um towards the end of august like 27 28 um so i reckon that that will probably ring true and also there is 52 days left on these as well so that does ring true that we're probably going to be getting the end of the european and the national team uh events and you know content and cards and it's going to be back into the brand new season with eFootball 2025 and of course we've got loads of legends i won't concentrate on the legends i've done a load of videos on legends and upcoming boosters and stuff but yeah that is it for me lads i'll be back tomorrow don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We will be back with a stream Monday. Hope to see you guys in the chat. We'll catch you all up to date with what's been going on. And uh, yeah, we will talk to you then. Looking forward to it. I hope you guys are good. Otherwise, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And let me know what you want to see because we've got a lot of content to get through over the next few weeks. All right, peace.